Thank you for uh, this uh, opportunity and uh, this uh, uh, interview. Uh, the first question, and uh, I read uh, your uh, VC card. Army Strong, Strong Europe. What do you mean? So Army Strong is the motto for the U.S. Army. And uh, I thought it was important to explain how the U.S. Army makes a contribution to security in Europe. So I took the Army motto, Army Strong, and turned it to Strong Europe. So it's the U.S. Army contribution to security in Europe. Okay. About um, Italian lands uh, forces in uh, Afghanistan, in uh, Lebanon, in uh, Iraq, um, which is uh, your opinion and uh, um, uh, the work uh, together, USA Army and Italian Army? I think it's very important that uh, people uh, in Italy and the United States and the rest of Europe uh, acknowledge uh, that Italy has been a leader. Uh, in all international peacekeeping operations and security operations. Uh, Italy um, is there. With it. When I was in Iraq, there were Italian soldiers there in Afghanistan. Um, when I was at Land Command in Izmir, Italy was the first country to fill all of its positions there in this new headquarters in Izmir. Um, and Italy has consistently been very active and responsible uh, to be a part of all security operations. Uh, I've been very impressed with the quality of the uh, officers that I meet. Um, I was in Caserta yesterday uh, and got to see the Garibaldi Brigade. Uh, the equipment that they have, very modern. Um, so Italy has a very high quality land force. And then what do you think about the operation Allied Spirit number six in Deutschland. Uh, this is the exercise coming in January. Well, first of all, I'm thrilled uh, that Italy uh, agreed to to be the lead nation uh, for this exercise. We'll have the Garibaldi Brigade in Hohenfels, um, and under them you will have a German battalion, a British battalion, three American battalions, and uh, soldiers from several other countries, all under Italian command. So it's a great opportunity to improve uh, interoperability. It's a great opportunity for uh, Italian uh, military to demonstrate capability. Um, it's going to be a good training exercise. So I'm, I'm excited uh, about that. I'm glad Italy is going to do this. So come back in um, Europe. Um, uh, which is the relationship between USA and Europe? Between the United States and Europe? Well, of course, the, the most important relationship the United States has is with Europe. The uh, economic relationship between the EU and North America is five times greater than anywhere else in the world. Um, so our, our uh, economic relationships with Europe are significant. They dwarf anywhere else. Um, the United States is, I am sure, is not going to do anything by itself. We've learned that other nations know things about areas that we don't know. Uh, other nations have capability that we don't have. And so I am sure that we are always going to do things as part of a coalition or an alliance. And the best, most reliable partners that we have are our allies in NATO. So, uh, I think for economic reasons, security reasons, uh, the relationship with Europe uh, is and will continue to be very strong. Um, we have we have 30,000 soldiers stationed in Europe, uh, U.S. Army Europe, including in Italy. Um, even though the Army, my Army, just announced a reduction of 40,000, the 30,000 that are in Europe are going to be protected. And in fact, we're bringing over equipment to put it, keep it in uh, Europe, that's an example of how much we value the importance of security in Europe. So the last two questions. Uh, the first, if you want uh, to answer of this, uh, is about Ukraine, uh, which is your point of view about this situation in uh, Ukraine between Europe and 
Russia. Well, I think it's important to keep in mind that the reason that the situation is what it is today, it started when Russia invaded Crimea. Now, Crimea is a sovereign part of Ukraine. Russia agreed to that years ago. So uh, Russia chose to use force to change the internationally recognized border of a sovereign European country. Use force to do that. I don't think that's acceptable uh, in the 21st century. And uh, the 28 nations of NATO agreed, as they demonstrated at Wales, that that's unacceptable behavior. Regardless of what the economic relationship is with Russia or, or what the history is, the fact is Russia used force to change a border, and that's not acceptable. So our great alliance is sticking together. The EU is sticking together um, to to encourage Russia to come back into the international community. Um, Ukrainians are the only people who died with an EU flag in their hand. They want to be part of EU. They want to be part of Europe. Um, Russia obviously does not want them to do that. But Russia does not get a veto in the 21st century over what one country wants to do. Um, I think that's important. So uh, we need Russia. All of us need Russia to be back in the international community. They have a role to play. They have a very important role to play. Um, but they can't use force to change borders, and they can't deny one country from doing what it chooses to do. Now, um, I think that the uh, number one objective for Russia is to split the alliance and to split EU. So uh, the best way to prevent a war and the best way to prevent a miscalculation is to that we stick together, stay strong, and that will deter uh, Russia from making a miscalculation, I believe. But this is only one security problem facing Europe. Uh, the huge number of illegal immigrants that are coming across uh, from uh, Africa and from the Middle East uh, obviously, so many of them coming in Italy, as well as Spain, Portugal, France, Greece. Uh, Turkey has over 2 million refugees from Syria. Uh, I think this is a very serious problem uh, that affects the United States also, uh, indirectly, but also because it affects our allies. And um, I think that uh, we have together have to figure out a way to deal with this uh, immigration problem, um, not just because it overwhelms the nations economically, uh, but also you have some uh, Islamic extremists that are mixed in with this, uh, that, that come over and uh, add to the security challenge as well. I think Italy has carried a huge load, uh, the Italian Navy, uh, and the uh, ministries have uh, carried a huge load, may, maybe uh, an unfair burden, and um, this is a, a problem for all of Europe, not just for Italy. Um, part of the solution, of course, is why, why do people leave? Why do they want to come here? What, what is there something that we can do to improve conditions at their home now? so that they don't feel like they have no choice but to leave? Uh, is there another way to prevent them from coming across? Uh, surely some people are making money off of this, people that get paid to bring illegals across. That's a network that needs to be uh, stopped, I think, also. You are the being a, a NATO commander. How is important now the role of NATO? Well, um, again, if, if you, you ex accept the fact that none of us are going to do anything by ourselves, with NATO you have common principles, you have a structure, uh, you have uh, common standards, uh, we have exercises. So NATO gives you the best chance for a properly organized and planned uh, military response. It's a, it also provides a framework for nations to work together. Um, so working hand-in-hand -hand with the EU, 
because most nations in NATO are also in the EU. Most nations in the EU are in NATO, so it's a good uh, a partnership, actually, for economic and political, as well as military, um, and also information to, to deal with uh, security challenges. Uh, the alliance is not perfect, of course, uh, but it's better than, it's the most successful alliance in the history of the world, um, and it gives us the best chance for a good, organized um, uh, response and preparation to, to use military if we ever had to. So, the last question, I promise. Uh, um, uh, you have spoken about uh, uh, the emergency of Europe, immigration, uh, IS state, uh, Ukraine, and uh, um, this uh, war um, against Russia. Is uh, um, uh, Euro strong Europe is uh, now is possible or is a dream? I, I think it exists right now. Um, the the fact that the uh, 28 nations that Wales agreed uh, to stick together, that the alliance had to adapt uh, the re the uh, readiness action plan that was agreed to by 28 nations. You see uh, improvements in uh, the organization of, of NATO with the DJTF, Very High Readiness Joint Task Force, the NFIUs, the NATO Force Integration Units, um, increased exercises, the uh, authority to do planning. In the past, you could not even do planning without the North Atlantic Council. Now, SACUR can authorize certain planning. These are all examples. Uh, and then you look at the countries. Um, even though every country, including my own, is under huge pressure uh, economically, people still are willing to invest in defense, uh, training, equipment, uh, quality people. Uh, I think that's a good symbol. Um, no, nobody, nobody is running to join Russia. Everybody wants to join NATO. Why? Everybody wants to join the EU. Why? Because that is the best chance for uh, prosperity uh, and security. Thank you. Thank you very much for uh, this uh, opportunity and thank you by Chibernawa staff. Thank you very much. It was a, uh, it was a pleasure for me, uh, number one. Number two, uh, I have a lot of respect for what you do. Uh, when you think of who the terrorist uh, Islamic extremists, they, they go after journalists. You know, they, they are scared of journalists because you tell the truth. And so uh, I have a lot of respect for what you do.